All right, so I just restarted the video. Let me know how it is. I just restarted the video. How the audio is, because a lot of you were complaining. Set, set, my brother. Let me know how the how the audio is. Um, Didi, let me know how the audio is. Paul Basemark, what's up, bro? Welcome. Let me know how the video is. The audio is it loud enough now? All right, uh, let's do audio audio check. Audio check, audio check. You all let me know how. We had like a thousand five hundred and I had to end it. So I can't share. So you're going to have to help me, help me share. All right. Uh, shout out to my man Rodney. Is here. Rodney, what's up? What's up, bro? I hope you're keeping safe. Good, 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 good. Okay, good. So yeah, so um, let's get back up to. Cause, what's up, man? Molly. I hope you're doing good, Jetro Kulay. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna get back up to a thousand, and then we'll take it, and 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 then we'll we will talk about the reason. Thank you, Esther. Thank you very very much. Um, we'll talk about just actually how many things I want to talk about. Uh, two or three, I believe three, three things. So I, I've got three important things. T Thomas, what's up, my brother? Three things. I want to talk 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 about quick, just three, and then we will be done. All right, we've just hit a thousand. Fantastic, a thousand one hundred. Now we can talk. Well, folks, um, a few days ago, I got fresh pictures of Wea's mansion. Now I'm not the only person to have received pictures of the mansion, but. Those were the most recent pictures there are of the mansion, the 9th Street one. You all remember, <laughs> you all remember, uh, uh, you all remember very, very well that three months into Wea's presidency, we saw bulldozers tearing down that dilapidated house. It was a mm -hmm. ramshackle. It was a old house and uh, and we saw it being tuned down in no time and, but what we didn't know was or what we didn't expect is that um, he was going to want to build a brand new house there the moment he tore it down but that is what we saw to us it was brazen to us it was crazy it was inexplicable it was a crazy thing for him to do that is what we felt mm -hmm. even a lot of citizens was very disappointed about that the moment the mansion went down the next thing we know they fenced it in and they started doing a brand new project that project has been done by ali kefe nah, nah. uh, ali kefe is in the oil business but he's also into construction so ali kefe is the one who's building that mansion and uh, it's been, the project has been going on since March of 2018, the very year we are came to power. I'm told we has been making endless modifications and remodifications to that to that mansion. They would he would come and at some point he would ask them to make this adjustment. He would ask them to do this and do that. And so they've been doing this for some time now. But because it's been fenced in, not a lot of people have been able to see it, to see what's happening, because the fence is really, really high. So we all have known that that property belongs to Mr. Weir. Bam! A few days ago, I published these fresh photos, which is what caused this thing now. We have embarrassed. You know, every time I get to have a score on Weir, it makes me feel good, because... We can't do anything else with him other than disgrace him, right? That's all we can do for now. 2023, we will get we, we will serve him the final deadly blow from which he will not recover, which is we will remove him from power democratically. We will beat him. But in the meantime, we have to be eating away at him, eating away at him, disgracing him, exposing him, preparing our people so they know what a terrible person he is so that they don't vote for him again. And so over the weekend, I got these fresh photos. I published them. And everybody expectedly, 
everybody was sick into their stomach. And what's sickening people even more is the fact that even during this crisis, when most of our people are going through the, the most difficult period to find food, to make the rent, uh, to take care of things, when, when Corona is scaring people and all of that, George Weah continues to build his mansion. I mean, you would think that the guy would say, okay, let's give it a break. Let's wait until later on we can go on with the construction. But the construction is taking place as we speak. And that is what sickened people. So we posted those pictures and they went viral on social media. The power of social media. They went viral. And so then, his, then Smith Tobe had to react. We are told Smith Tobe to go on air and say that the property no longer belongs to him. But now belongs to his son, Charm. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Tim Weir. Tim Little Weir, who is uh, his son with, uh, what's her name? Kla. That's Kla's son. It is, he's there first. Tim Weir is like the fall guy. The last time we saw that mansion in, uh, uh, right there on, uh, at Silver Beach. With a tunnel that leads straight from the underground straight to the beach. We have said the building, that property also was for his son, John. I mean, Tim. And Tim didn't say a word. He didn't say any, mm-hmm. anything. But apparently, from what we were told, uh, we were told that uh, they, 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 the, the boy didn't like the fact that his father said the property belongs to him. And the, the property actually does not belong to him. And I have the pictures of that one too. I will publish the what the currently the current photo. I will publish those photos for you so you can see what that Silver Beach property looks like. So what happens? Smith always says the mansion belongs to Tim. I mean to a team. And then Tim gets to hear about it, and everybody is saying, Oh, Tim, we are it's not for it's not for Tim. So Tim and his mother called George Weir. I'm told the call George we are today. Today, Claire we are and Timothy we are called George we are today. They are in America. They say if you don't go and retract that statement that that property for for my son and Tim say that property for me. If you don't go retract that statement, I will issue a statement to say that it is a lie. That property is not for me. The boss say I've had enough. This morning I was saying on my show that many of you don't know. Timothy Weir and his father do not get along. They're not even on speaking terms right now as we speak. They do not speak. The only time Timothy Weir went to Liberia was for the inauguration. And he said he's, not, he's, he's, he's never going, going back there. He wants to have nothing to do with his father. So Timothy Weir and Clyde Weir called Joe Weir and said, Joe Weir, if you do not retract that statement... That that Ninth Street mansion has been transferred to me and I am the one building it. I will go and issue a statement and tell the world and tell the Liberian people that you lied. Okay. So what would George Weah do? George Weah thought he was fitting with us by lying to us that the property belongs to his son and no longer belongs to him. And therefore, he is not the one building the property. And so we should not accuse him of corruption. He thought that was it. He, He thought that was it. He thought it was finished. That's what George Weah did. But then Tim Weah said, if you do not retract, I will go and I will say you are a bloody liar. And then see what he did. He put Clyde Weah's name in it and said, Clyde is the one supervising the property. The, con- the construction. Clyde Weah said, what? Eh? I am supervising the construction of the property? <laughs> Clyde Weah said, No. You're not going to use me or use your son. So what did Joe Weah do? Now Joe Weah had to be had to withdraw the statement because he does not want Tim Weah. Imagine a statement from Timothy Weah that his father is a bloody liar, that his father lied on him about a property that does not belong to him. Imagine a statement from Timothy. What it would do to George Weah? Such a statement would destroy George Weah more than anything else. Imagine your son. Imagine my son Henry Costa Jr. Mm-hmm. Issuing a statement that I am a bloody liar. 
that I lie on him, that the property I say belongs to him, does not belong to him, but it belongs to me, and that I'm trying to use him. Imagine that. What can you say to that sort of statement if it came from your own blood? Guess what? Now, George Weah was faced with a quandary. The book man said, quandary. What do I do? If I don't retract that statement, Tim will issue that statement because Tim does not need George Weah. Tim the Weah plays, I think his contract is worth about $2 million. His football contract. So he does not need his father for money. He makes his own money. He doesn't want to have anything to do with George Weah and his stolen money. So he said, hey, if you don't issue that statement, I will issue a statement. Now, George Weah has to use Smith Tobey. Hey, I poor Smith Tobey. Smith Tobey, the thing what made you go marry to George Weah's niece, then I small throw you in. Do you know Smith Tobey married George Weah's niece? You all saw the wedding, right? The wedding took place at the fucking Claw Church. Smith Tobey married George Weah's niece. Just to keep that late, that, that late job, that the pipi pale job. That pipi pale job to be press secretary, deputy press secretary, that he go marry that woman. And they get a fancy. Yes, Smith to me, or Smith to me, they be on the line. Hey, my man, let me wait, my man, Smith to me. Hey, Smith, hey, Smith, hey, Smith, Smith, just for that pipi pale job, Smith to me. That hey, you go married to Joe, we are niece. All day, Joe, we are making you lie. You're lying, Smith. You're lying, Smith. You're lying. Smith to me. Now, Joe, we are Smith. What the? What the? You got to go by on the radio. What the? Because I'm picking that one up for me. Like, I tell me that we are picking in Fresca. What the? The picking one embarrass me. <laughs> so, my man, Smith to me, was forced to call OKFM today. Hey, man. I got an interview right here. Unfortunately, I cannot play from the same phone that I'm using to do the live. So guess what happened now? Smith Tobin now had to call the radio area. I listen to Smith. It's too embarrassing. I will post it after this video. I will post the thing. Smith Tobin had to go on the radio today and say, my man, you know, I just called to make a retraction. Uh, the statement I made yesterday that the property belongs to the the president has transferred ownership to his son. It's not true. The property still belongs to the president. And, and then Julia just said, Oh, but my man, but, but my man, but in journal, in journalism, Julia just won't help a man. And I, that a former okay, ever man. He said, But in journalism, they call it Iraqtum. <laughs> he wants to be Bebo. And you know, Iraqtum, that Rodney said, and what they can do when they issue people who own newspaper, now, when they issue a, a, a make, a, do a story. And for some reason, they have to retract the story and do a correction. It's called Eratum. E R R A T U M. Smith was say, yeah, 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 yeah. That Eratum. Eratum. Then, then July Jesse, but Smith, but they like Rumpo, they will forgive you. Just apologize to them. <laughs> so Smith said, Smith said, yeah, my man, I'm, I, I, yeah, my man, this is the job we're doing. <laughs> Smith said, that is job. <laughs> yeah, when Smith said that is job, one, listen to Smith said that is job. Yeah, what Smith was trying to say, my man, that, that is job, we got to lie all oh, about the man stealing your money, but we got to be lying for him. That is job. <laughs> but Smith, your own problem works because you probably you go marry the man's niece. That the man needs to call for you. Smith to me get bored of Jawia house. He can eat to Jawia. Smith to me get caught. Smith to me get caught to the hall. I say, Smith to me get caught to the own hall. That Jawia hall in your coat. He married the girl who can call Jawia food. Jawia needs. That the girl Smith to be married in fucking club chat. So Smith to me inside the, inside the fucking club family. Bad, bad. So he not only lying, <laughs> he not only lying for a job. A life for a wife for a marriage. Oh. <laughs> so, Smith said to Julia, he said, my man, but daddy job. <laughs> daddy job, daddy job. <laughs> oh my God. So this is what happened today. But you know what? Hey, Joey, I say he's stupid. He's not supposed to say Smith to be on the radio. He's supposed to wait. Let our friends get American begin Timothy, we are going to issue the statement. You think the American turn here? In the country, you're yeah, trying to look at it and say, Daddy, don't. look, my own four-year-old son, hmm? Henry Costa Jr., I put a man in a car seat, I, I'm trying to put the hand sanitizer on the man's hand, one small air waist on the man's car seat. Yesterday, you know, you know what the man told me? 
You know what the man told me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The man said, Daddy, you messed up my pants. You messed up. The man told me, say, I messed up his pants. My four-year-old son telling me, say, I messed up his pants. <laughs> so imagine Tawia son. <laughs> Tawia be son. So this is the issue. Tawia is a criminal. And he has been exposed yet again by his own son and his own wife. They begin to say, look, mommy, tell your husband. Don't bring that nonsense to me. He has to retract that statement or I will issue a statement. And I'm told, Timothy, we are saying his friends at his football club, they're embarrassing. They make mockery of him. They, they, they play fun of him. That his father, because you know, everybody in the footballing world, you know, everybody who knows who George Weir is in the footballing world, would aspire to George Weir's extraordinary success in, foot, in foot, foot, football and to be teammates with George Weir's own son. I mean, and they're following him politically also to see what's happening. All the news about corruption, the man can steal. The boy is already embarrassed that he park and steal. Then you get embarrassing the boy more. So the boy said, Papa, you, you withdraw that statement. I will issue a statement that that was not for me. My people, you see how John Weir has been disgraced? And who brought this to him? That the picture I published. <laughs> hey, John Weir. I win again, John Weir. I win again. Hey, John Weir. John Weir. John Weir. Dawia, Dawia. So this morning, uh, Dawia, I mean D U L L now, Dawia. So Dawia called this morning into one local station, that is a station, I'm not calling that, and he said on the platform with 3,000 people watching, so they can, can't get promotion. Dawia called into the station this morning, and he said, uh, he made his own representative Solomon George send text message because they, they were taking calls now from the Muyam Muyam people. They got their program lines. Only Muyam Muyam people can call. So Solomon George, representative Solomon George from CDC, district number seven, Montserrat County, the man sent text message to Joe. He said, Joe, they LEC been here. What you say? We're going to be free. Uh, why are the coroner not free now? Huh? For Solomon George to ask Joe that question. That they LEC been here, what you say it will be free. Why the LEC not free? That thing made Jawia there. It made Jawia there. Jawia say, Oh, and you represented it. Why you can go get current your own people? And you and you and you represented it. You can go feed your feed your feed your people. What? The man that CDC man, Solomon Joe. Just ask Jawia question by text message. Jawia on the air. He say, Mr. President, the LEC team, what you say? We're gonna put a four million there. LEC current will be free. Why the current not free? Jawia get there. Joe, we are getting fat, man, people. But Allah ain't Joe, we are saying when he paid the four million, LEC will get current for free. Why the current not free? That the question made Joe, we are started blasting uh, Solomon Joe the morning on that radio station. He said, eh, eh, and he said, you represent it. Why you can't get, go get a district current? And he said, and he said, you represent it. Why you can't go feel your feel, feel, feel people? The guy said, check. This small thing I just asked <laughs> that made Joe, we are getting fat. So, <laughs> oh, then. They go to Joe and say, oh, Mr. President, we'll bring you here another time so that we can do simple English uh, interview. Mm -hmm. Huh? Simple English interview? The man go to Joe and say, oh, boy, that's my era. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> the way Joe was happy. The man said, look, Mr. President, next time we're bringing you back here, we're doing simple English. Simple English. So we are saying, but don't worry, that but my era there, you know, I grew up in Gibraltar, in West, West, West Point, simple English, but I know it good. You don't know nothing. Even simple English, I tell you, you to speak it, it will, it will not make sense. You will talk in simple English, but it will not make sense. You don't see whole president be happy because they say, Mr. President, we will bring you here so you can do simple English. You know what I mean? If a talk show host tells you, you the president of the republic, you are a president of an English speaking country. A talk show host tells you, Mr. President, the next time we'll bring you by here so you can speak simple English on the show. Then he said, Oh, but my man, boy, you, you know that my era there. Simple English, that my era. I will, I, I will do say. <laughs> I say, What? Now I like I see. <laughs> do we are, do we are, do we are. But look, on a serious note, we are in trouble. I want to say thanks to my source 
Shout out to my souls for sending me those pictures that we published. We're not just we are not disgrace. again. We're always winning. Look, I said now thousands of miles in America are making joy. We are left miserable in La Broba. Hey, by Pedro, by hey, Pedro, 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 hero, hero, hero. <laughs> just a bit joy. We are joy. We are watching. You watching now? You know who you get me watching from most of the time? See what breaks. See what breaks. Like deputy EPS begin. Like that he begin. That see what brief food most of the time. Whenever you see see what brief on a live video, and eh, most of the time that 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 job we are see what see what uh bring it bring it bring it food. I mean let me let me let me see what I fully cause I begin talking bring it food bring it food. Then see what can get job we are the food. Job we are be watching. Either see what brief food or Kalasco food that the food the man can be the man can be watching for. Another thing I want to talk to you about before I go. I'm about to end this video now. Is and this is breaking news, fresh breaking news. You don't want to miss this. The Ministry of Finance on a Samuel D12 has just paid 225,000 US dollars to a company called Lutten L U T T E N Lutten Catering Services for providing food. To the Ebola patients, or I'm sorry, the coronavirus patients at 14 military, 225,000 US dollars for food. My people, you please, that what in the feeling of people that are caviar, that salmon tatar, then they drink champagne, what in the feeding them to, to 14 military? Two hundred and twenty-five thousand. The Ministry of Finance just paid two hundred and twenty-five thousand to a catering company called Lotten L U T T E N Lotten Catering Services. Guess one of the major shareholders in the catering company, Jefferson Gucci Clown Pipipa Mayor Koji. Yay! <laughs> Jefferson Gucci Clown Pipipa Mayor Koji is one of the shareholders in Lawton Catering Services that today received from the government of Liberia 225,000 US dollars to provide food. First of all, how many active coronavirus patients do we have? About 100. About 100. Okay. So you mean. For 100 people who been down there for a few weeks, 100 coronavirus patients for a few weeks that didn't want to pay, they, they get them food for 225,000 US. My people, y'all believe that thing? Hey man, what you talking about, man? A Bagleville Queen, though, that not pizza. Pizza say cheap. That, that salmon tatar and caviar that they want to feed in there. That, 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 that they, the food then, that they want to build in here and they can eat, that they want to feed in there. Because 225,000 US dollars is what they paid them today. Man, people, why police, they get policemen at 4,000 Liberian dollars. They say that they're uh, the money for the few months of oper operation, the bench, few weeks of extra duty, 4,000. Immig immigration, they get them 4,500. DA, they get them 5,000. 5, the police vest, immigration vest, DA vest. Job, we are paying the police people 4000 for three weeks of extra operation. Then they just pay to a catering company owned in large, to, in, 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 a, in a large part by Jefferson PP Park, Gucci Clown, Mayor Koji. They pay them what? 225000 US dollars today for catering services for less than 100 coronavirus patients. Wait, wait divide 225000 US dollars. Divided by 100 people. And they tell me how much they will eat. O -o Over the period, they, they, they say that, that one more payment. One more. That payment represents one more of catering. 225,000 US. My people. The guys are criminals. The police people now, when you get to checkpoint now, coronavirus checkpoint, they can just say, hey, my man, where you get for the officer? <laughs> where you get for the officer? But, but why the officer will not ask you where you get for him? Because the officer not getting nothing from Dawea. Yeah. Dawea yeah, eating all the, all the money. But this is a disgrace. A kid, Lawton, the name of the company is Lawton, L-U-T-T-E-N. Lawton 
catering services. And then you know what they say? The hotels, all the hotels that provided accommodation, they, all the hotels that they were using, from Palm Springs Hotel, uh, Executive Lodge, and Kailondo Kai Hotels, all the hotels were made to provide three meals a day. Three meals a day. So if the hotels provided three meals a day for all of the people who were being quarantined there, so then the food was only provided at 14 Military Hospital. 225,000 US dollars in catering services to Lotten, L U T T E N, Lotten Catering Services, 225,000 US. Jefferson Koji is a major shareholder. These people are rogues, they're just criminal. But let me say something before I close this video. I would have loved for Jawia to challenge Team Wea. Amen. Jawia sort of asked stupid. He's about to ask stupid. He now sort of says Smith to me on the radio to go withdraw that thing. He's about to ask stupid and challenge his son Timothy Weir. So Timothy Weir could issue that statement on his social media page. To say my pa is a damn rogue. And he lied that I own that property. That is what John Weir should have done. He should not have. He should not have. Send Smith. Somebody do the math man. Divide 225,000 by 100 patients. Per month. So let's know how much each of the people will eat a, a, a day. How many were eating a day? 225,000. 100 patients. Coronavirus patients. Do the math. Somebody do the math and tell me before we end this video. But this is serious. The president is a criminal. And I got me post the fresh pictures of the Silver Beach pro 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 property. The one he gave to the team we are again. Oh, he probably didn't for a children. You know, what kind of man? On a serious note, folks. What kind of human being, what kind of father would lie on his son or on their child in this manner? You would lie on your kid in this manner. You would tell the public that, they, that you steal money that you build properties with. And when you are questioned and then you lie that the property belongs to your son. What kind of father does that? The scum of the earth. A nasty, sleazy, dirty, rogue is what George Weah is. Let me re repeat, a nasty, sleazy, dirty, Gibraltar pig. And I said it made a pig. Nasty, sleazy, Gibraltar pig. You know, you know pig, pig dirty. You know pig like mud, pig dirty. But Jawia, that Gibraltar pig, Gibraltar pig, that's what the man is. That is the kind of father who will steal money and build mansions. And when he is questioned how he got that money, then he will say, oh, hey for my son, hey for my daughter, hey for my dad. John Weir is a nasty, dirty, Gibraltar pig. That is what he is. And so, again, I want to say shout out to my souls. My, my very, very reliable and unimpeachable souls for those pictures. It is those pictures... Those pictures, that's what caused George Weah to be disgraced again. That his son Timothy told him, he said, you, oh, you're giving me different results. What can I want math you're doing? Everybody give me different results. I say, divide 225,000 US by 100 patients. Then, what do you give me? Some, somebody, my, my man print can say 200 per person. But that daily, okay, give me the monthly rate. How many each other people they ate? 225,000 divided by what? Divided by... 100 patients, 225,000. So 78, okay. Events, Cotillo says $72.80 per day. So you mean $72.80 per day? That was each person eating to, but then I won't get Corona. <laughs> My people, you ain't want to get Corona. If they can feed the people to 14 military, $72.80 a day on food. I won't get Corona. You please get me though. <laughs> Y'all carry me to food the military. They eating steak, premium steak and salmon tatar, and drinking Hennessy XO. <laughs> Not the one they drinking. These guys are criminals. We have a crisis on our hands. You have insufficient funds. You can't even pay police well. You can't pay the joint security folks well. You're paying police four thousand dollars for three weeks of operation. Four weeks of extra operation. And then you're stealing money on top of that. You're refusing to pay the hotels that provide feeding and accommodation for the, the quarantine folks. For several weeks, you can't pay them. And you're writing checks to your own businesses. 
$225,000 US dollars to a lot in catering services, largely owned by Jefferson Pipipa Gucci Clown Tamba Mayor. What's wrong with you people? $72.80 a day. Is that why you're feeding the poor day? Why you're serving them on the, on the menu? This is despicable. It's horrible. You, you, you know, it's just sad, my people. As I said, no decent father will do what we are does. No decent father. Don't we are. You watching the video. You are a dirty, nasty, Gibraltar pig. P-I-G. If you don't know how to spell pig. P-I-G. Pig. That's what you are. A dirty, nasty, sleazy scum of the earth, Gibraltar pig. Who will steal money. And your son who works hard and plays football for his money. And you would lie on him. And you would bring the ball embarrassment. You are a despicable father. Any father that does that to his own child. What more? He, 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 what can't he do to his country? If you can lie on your own son. You try to embarrass your own son. You steal and you say it belongs to your son. What can't you do to us citizens? That's what you are. Let me leave you with this again, Jawia. Dirty, nasty, the brutal scum of the earth, big. That's what you are. Thank you very much, folks. God bless you. Have yourself a wonderful day. Bye bye.